Everyone has once faced a split up army or is willing to use and try out this tactic. And this is how it works. So you want to split up your army so you can hit the sides of your enemy and harassment from both sides. If your enemy decides to walk straight for the gap that you made, you will be able to surround your enemy and sandwich it and destroy it. So what army do you need to make this tactic work? So you want to have a strong missile force so you can put pressure on your enemy to attack you. And you can decide to run away or counter attack. You also want a strong cavalry force to keep your missile safe and to stop the enemy calf from chasing you or surrounding you. Furthermore, more you just need a couple of hard hitting units like elites and some trash units to hold them up or just to buy time for your elites to grind and that type of army would be the best to use this tactic with now how do you counter this tactic well first of all the enemy that decides to use this tactic against you has an advantage because you can't prepare your army for this tactic and this will give him an edge well in land battles people tend to bring cavalry so the cavalry that you brought is now very important and the missile units that you brought will be the least effective so the best way to counter this is by focusing one part of the split up army how do you do this you should carry to catch your enemy by surprise and followed it up with infantry so your enemy can't run away and use the escape tactic. What your enemy then will do is most likely use their cheap units that I told you to bring as a sacrifice to continue their retreat. Now you got the advantage that your army is close together and his army is far and split up and if you brought missiles you got to put them all at the one side that you're not pushing because this way you will win the missile fight on the left side and you will win the infantry fight on the right side. And now I got you a battle against a pro player which used this tactic against me without me knowing in advance obviously and I want to show you the part where I implement all these tactics and that's in the beginning of the battle but first if you are enjoying these type of tactic videos make sure to hit the like button so I know you guys enjoy it like you did in the last video where you guys did an amazing job at hitting the like button so let's keep that up and let's now look at the battle and to be honest I end up losing this battle even though I use all the counter tactics but now we will be able to analyze what mistakes I made and which made me lose the battle which makes it even more interesting so he had this skirmish calf in the middle which is quite smart because he can just run to my slingers and hit them hard with the peltas and just run away. Now fasting forward I had to decide my strategy that I want to use against this split up army and set up my army to counter his. So first of all I put back my slingers because they can get hit by the skirmish calf and by the slingers in their sights and I also decide to split up my army in two. But I didn't want to divide my army equally. I wanted to have one part of my army aggressive and offensive and the other part of my army more defensive. So I looked at his army and decided the weaker part of his and that was his left side so my right side. So I wanted to be aggressive on my right side so that's why I put all my slingers to the left side so I can be more defensive over there and put more of my strong infantry and strong cavalry to the right side. I know that he's slinging my Lyran Noble hoplites but I don't care because they have 115 armor so they can take some shots and now you can really see that I'm preparing my army for an attack and you also got to watch out for not showing off too much that you're going to attack one side so that's another thing that you got to keep in mind. Don't be predictable. So I got my slingers on the left side fighting the slinger battle and I'm now attacking his army on the right side with my cavalry first to catch him and then followed up with my infantry and my opponent saw this and immediately threw away his trash unit with his carry like I told you to do to save his retreat and the same thing is happening over here with his Perukai hoplite and his carry but as you can see I catch most of his units and he's trying to run away but it's not really working so this part I did really good in this battle but I made some mistakes which you will see very soon and as I told you before the battle his army is very far away from the battle and my army is getting pretty close to try and support and win every engagement and this is also the moment where he had to engage with his royal spartans and all his good units because otherwise he would just get overwhelmed and and lose units for nothing and if you look closely in the background I let his free cavalry units escape without any punishment which was very bad and a massive mistake from my part because cavalry with and against split up armies is very important and killing those would be massive and I'm going for my second attempt right here and my levy free spirits got pila but they also got counter cavalry tactics so you don't always have to throw pila just get in combat and use cavalry counter tactics and you will destroy cavalry and that's what I'm doing right here I'm baiting his cavalry to come closer to my levy free spirits with counter cavalry tactics and as you see I popped it immediately on my levy first spear and attack the cavalry. Looking at the battlefield he got a lot of his cavalry still alive compared to me and all of his slingers. His royal spartans are about to be surrounded though but royal spartans fight amazingly even though surrounded. They are just insane tanks and I'm now trying to cut off his reinforcing army but the unfortunate part is that at this moment the recording stops because I had no more space left on my PC. Now it sounds like I'm broke and got no space etc. It's just very unfortunate but I think you guys did understand how to counter and how to use the split up army tactic. It can be very effective. I tried it a couple of times but it's also counterable so smash the like button if you enjoyed these tactic videos and i will see you guys in the next one bye bye